I school motto is we go as we learn. I think it's like so when like mm. as we get old, older, we learn more and more. Yeah, the more advanced things. Yeah. This is really great because it's it's living history. It's touchable history. It's things that people can relate to and say, I remember that. I was a little new girl, and I wanted to give the best to to the school and the community. Uh, and I felt I had an understanding of where the children were coming from. We're so lucky that we have that original footage from 60 years ago. Um, there's nothing better than being able to actually look in to see what life was like. No two days are the same when you're working with children. Um, so you might come in with a whole list of plans for one day, but the children take you down a completely different avenue. It's hugely satisfying when you're working with children. Um, and I think probably one of the biggest changes from the way things were perhaps 60 years ago to now is um, the way children embrace their staff and the teachers in, in school um, and are quite open with that. So that's lovely to see. We have almost 500 children here in Kirklinook and we serve the area called Renfrew North. So it's the area around Kirkland Nook, the north of Renfrew and Brayhead. The motto for the children of Kirkland Nook is we grow as we learn. And recently we refreshed our vision and values and we worked together with our children, parents and staff. Our school values are kindness, positivity and safety. I was at Blyswood Testimonial School Kirklinute was built, mum and dad got a house here, so this was the school that we went to. If, if I'm honest, no, I can't really. We snippets, we snippets of who the teachers were, people in my class. I can remember the day that we left in primary seven to go to the high school, great weeping and wailing and great sadness of leaving at a wonderful school. I went to train at Jordan Hill and then it was a three-year diploma course and I think it was my second year of training. I was sent to Kirtland Newt, great joy, lived in Ness Road, lived in the scheme and was able to walk here. Uh, so I was a student teacher here and I can actually recall in one of the, the days giving out a textbook, a reading book, and in the book where it said name, it said Sheila Hawthorne and the children were in hoots and laughter. Miss Hawthorne, Miss, we've got your book, we've got your book. And that was a lovely moment. That was a, a lovely moment. My very first class here, I had 44 children, 44. Now, in those days, most of the children all had the same reading book. Uh, things weren't all grouped and it was all class lessons. So 44 was doable. And then for some reason, six months in, I think there must have been extra staff and my class was halved to 22, so it was, it was half the work. Literacy and numeracy have always been um, a key priority for us in education and we, of course, do have a range of subject areas that we teach. But I think particularly over the past few years and more recently with COVID-19, the importance of wellbeing has really been at the fore. So... The three key areas that we really do focus on these days are literacy, numeracy and health and wellbeing because that's helping our children get ready for what's in front of them as well as supporting what's happened to us all. In the lead up to City of Culture, uh, we were looking at what the history of film is in the area and so um, I started to collect old films from amateur filmmakers but also from um, the library and the Heritage Centre and one of those films was uh, a film about the events uh, in Renfrew in 1962. This was a 16 mil film, all professionally filmed in colour, and there were different events. One was uh, Renfrew um, at the Scottish Junior Cup final. Another one was about the old folks going to the water for a trip. Another one was about the casting of the nets on the Clyde because Renfrew owns the fishing rights, the Clyde, 
and the other one was uh, the opening of Kirkland Newt Primary School in 1962. So we'll, we'll just get it going. In the old days being on film would have been a big thing you know you wouldn't have necessarily seen a camera in in Renfrew certainly not not in Kirkland Newt Primary so having a camera crew turned up would have been a big occasion and and people would have been nervous but also excited so um, you know some people um, you know act up to the camera other people um, you know um, are, are more shy about it. Opening of oh, Kirkland Newt School. Mm -hmm. This is going to take me back. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Uh -huh. Very few cars in sight. Green grass. All the head teachers and stuff, head teachers are wearing a lot, like suits and everything. They're all suited and booted. I'm looking very serious. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, yes. Some of my contemporaries here, and I can't, like younger ones, they look maybe like primary five perhaps. I was primary six when this, in this clip. Oh, same the forms are the same. Yeah. yeah. I would say the ties were a bit different. Oh, they're like the grey ties, mm -hmm. like, like decorative. Oh. It's such a pity there's no sound. They look like they're in fine voice. Uh huh, though. uh huh. The curtains are now red and not black. Yeah. Very odd clothing. Yeah. It's a lot more dressed down there. Yeah. Now I think this is me coming up here. Now the blazer uh -huh. is the blazer. still. Now this is I think is Anne Brisbane similar. and this is me. I was Sheila uh, Hawthorne then, clapping away. We all had the shirts and the ties and the blazers mm -hmm. and the pleated skirts. So we've uh -huh. still got the shirt and the tie, tie. and the blazer, but they can choose uh, the, uh -huh, if they want to as, wear uh -huh. a skirt or even trousers. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Now I think this wee lad in the middle is Ian McKenzie and, my, and I think this girl here was a friend of mine from Kirtland, Elner Bog. I think that's the gym hall. It looks a lot different, look at the windows. It's not as many gyms. Yeah. yeah, we don't have that in gym mall anymore. Well, they don't have it anymore. So. Oh, that's the key to the school. Now that's 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 a head teacher. I remember him well. It was Mr. Alfred McNeil when he when he told me as a, a probationary teacher, you must make more use of IT in this school. Use an overhead projector. <laughs> stuck in my mind. <laughs> I'm sure that's Eleanor and I'm sure that's Anne and here's another wee clip of me with my wee kiss carol and sitting. There's a lot less people. Yeah. The floor in the gym hall actually looks... It looks nice. That's definitely the gym hall. Well it's quite formal looking here with mm -hmm. their wooden chairs mm -hmm. and wooden tables and things and the mm -hmm. The formal wood mm -hmm. floor, but it's now we've got the, mm -hmm. the modern PE mm -hmm. floor. Was, uh -huh. I was looking in the clip there, and the ladies in the audience, as we would say, were all wearing hats. I think they had a wee berry that they could wear as well. Oh, right, right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. We fucking do. Mm -hmm. Kirkland and Berry. Mm -hmm. Oh, these pictures. I remember that from my early days. It do was you? the it was the picture talk that you got a picture with lots of interesting things in an autumn pitch and they talk about the leaves and the animals and the children and you could get a whole half hour lesson out of one picture and it was called a picture talk. And then would the children do some writing after that? It probably, yes, uh -huh, they would, right. need, and there would be wee flash cards and so that's a wee a bit of free writing, a wee bit of free writing. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays we've got children's, quite a lot of children's work on the wall and display and a lot of Right, uh -huh. no, there was a lot of formal pictures, formal, a lot of, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and children's work would never be displayed if it was grammatically or if there were spelling mistakes, that would all have to be redone and redone and redone mm -hmm. till it was perfect. School has a, a really strong history within the community of celebrating key milestones. What's been difficult this time for the 60th 
is the fact that we've been in the middle of a worldwide pandemic with COVID-19. What's been really nice is you've been looking through the photographs from the past is to see the difference in the way that the children are sitting and presenting themselves. Um, it's a wee bit more relaxed nowadays when we're taking photographs. Um, and as the school role has increased over the years, it becomes uh, a wee bit more difficult to have that kind of traditional sitting. So we decided to go for something a wee bit more modern and inclusive, where everyone could be part of it, from our janitor to our dinner ladies um, and all of the staff and the pupils. So almost 500 of us out in the playground. So instead of sitting in rows, um, we formed the letters of KPS, Kirkland at Primary School, Kindness, Positivity and Safety. I just think you've got to have that passion and the love and the desire to be able to impact and change a child's life and bring them on. Those to me are the, are the greatest attributes. My hopes and vision for the pupils of Kirkland Nook is just the same as I'm, I'm sure as it was 60 years ago. We, we want to produce children who are ready for the world and the world is changing um, at a very fast pace. Um, we want them to be good people, we want them to be kind uh, and we want them to be literate and unit. That's what it is. So no noisy. <laughs>